fun at all. Welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I am the Max Few Trades. In the last part, the Empire attacked South Figaro, which forced us to split apart. And then even more splitting happened when Sabin decided to jump off a raft. It was a big mess, to make things simply put. And uh, But the good news is, we managed to make a bunch of new friends. Here they all are, lined up very conveniently for you to be able to see them. And in this part, well, wouldn't you know it, the Empire is about to attack another place. It's kind of their whole thing. And, well, uh, judging by the map, I'm guessing we're probably going to do the same thing we did back when we were protecting Terra, but with all those Moogles, except this time I, I, I don't think the Moogles are going to show up. I kind of hope they do, but I'm not going to assume as such. Uh, yeah, we're just going to set out, and hopefully we'll be able to stop this place from getting ransacked and getting the idol and stolen and all that good stuff. Uh, let's hope for the best. Am I ready? No. But I don't really have much of a say in the matter now, do I? Also, hello, Mog. How are you? Protect the Eidolon from Kefka. Would you like an explanation? Just in case there might be something different about this? Yes, please. You fight using three different parties. Use the L button to switch between them. Defeat Kefka before his men reach Bannon, or the battle is lost. After you've made three parties on the party formation screen, select like done to start the battle. I see. All right, so I'm splitting all of the characters I've got into three groups. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna need to actually try kind of decently hard to make this work in a way that's not stupid. Okay. Um, okay, I have uh, one idea. I'm going to have Tara, Edgar, and Celis act as the leaders of these teams. Because those three all have the ability to attack all enemies, you know, either with magic or with a crossbow and the like, so... That, that, that's good coverage for all of them. Now to make them all, like, come together in a way that actually makes them a bit more whole. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Gao, you're gonna be the wild card. You'll go to whatever team I feel needs you the most. As it is, I think what we'll do... I think, actually, it would make a lot of sense for me to have two good teams and one really good team so I can fight whatever the boss is at the end of this. I guess maybe Kafka. So you know what? We'll put Locke there. We'll put Cayenne there. And Sabin and Gao, you go there. I feel like these three together should be able to handle just about anything. They can heal. They can multi-target. Sabin's gonna do so much stuff and... Gal's just gonna go absolutely honking bonkers all over the dang place. That should work out. I mean, these two are gonna be strong enough to take care of themselves, and... Tara can constantly just cast, cast magic, and Locke can, you know, keep her, you know, maintained, as it were. I think this might be a good idea. Maybe, maybe, maybe this won't go poorly. Here they come! Way over yonder! They have arrived! Oh, looky here! If it isn't General Celis, the backstabber! Excellent! Now I don't have to go hunt you down later! Don't you whoop 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 at me, mister. I'll beat the crap out of you, that's a lot of dudes. Go! Crush those insignificant bugs! I believe it is you who will be squished like bugs this day, good sir. Except you're not a good sir, you're a huge jerk. Oh, that's a lot of... Okay, that's a lot of dudes. Okay, we're gonna... Let's cover all of our various tracks first. There we go. All right. And with that, I do believe we've got all of the possible angles taken care of. Ooh, that's a fair few dudes now in it. Okay, all right. We will set fire to all of their faces. Uh, and they will miss several of their attacks. Always good. Always good. Burn them alive. That's good style. And slashy slashy. And that wasn't enough to kill. That's not good. Okay. Ow. Much pain. Much ouch. Not fan. Not fan. All right, you attack somebody else, and then, in theory, maybe we'll be able to take out two of them on this turn with the fire. That might work out in our favor, yes. Yes, thank you. All right, well, luckily for us, admittedly, a lot of those attacks ended up missing, which is good, because also a lot of them ended up hitting, and they, they, they turns out they hurt a lot. Who'd have thought being stabbed would hurt so much? Most people, I would imagine, regardless. All right, so yeah, Terra's going to be dealing with a lot, but this group should probably be pretty good. Just, uh, I don't even know. We'll just go with you. There you go, just be stronger. Be as strong as humanly possible. 
And everybody else is just gonna do what they do best, which is basically cast wide-reaching magic spells and suplexing people into orbit. All right, ah ha You have thought you could get the best of Saban? You could have literally suplexed any of those four and you chose the only one that was already weakened. You would have one-shot anything else. I don't know why you did that. That's very confusing. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, well, so far that seems like a pretty solid thing to have Gao transform into. Or however it is his attacks work. I am not 100% sure, honestly. Alright, and we're just zooming all over the dang place is what we're doing. Alright, 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 alright. We'll use the crossbow, but we'll also use the piercing fang. There you go, there you go. Go on, ah, and you miss! What you gonna do about it? Not a whole lot. Crossbow time! What's that thing? There we go. Take care of that. Ow, my face. Why must you be this way? Alright, the crossbow should be good enough to finish things off, I like to assume and believe. Yes, yes, maybe, perhaps. Okay, good, 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 good. That is gonna be a winning strategy if there ever what was one. Uh, okay, I'm definitely gonna have to have Terra and Locke not, oh, oh, okay, well, never mind, hang on. Hang on, this is a very fine how do you do. We got him in a pincer maneuver, inexplicably. I, I don't know how we managed to make that work, but we did somehow, so that's pretty great. All right, good, 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 good. Less good with all of the ouchies. But, and why are you not dead? What? Why are you still sentient and alive? I did the, the I, I, I did the attacks upon your face. You should not be alive anymore. How dare you? There. My god. Okay, well, as long as that works. And, Sarah learned drain, apparently. Okay, that's handy dandy. Now, Salissa, if you don't mind, you could just help out a wee bit here. And we get back attacked. Of course we get back attacked. Why on earth wouldn't we? Why on earth would we not? Alright. Just turn into an Imperial Soldier, because apparently that gives you access to, uh, for some reason, uh, uh, fire magic. I don't really get it. Doesn't matter much to me, because it's still good damage. That's all that really matters. Woohoo! That really seems like the type of move that should be able to hit more than one thing. It clearly goes right on through the enemy, so <laughs> deep confusion, to say the bare minimum. Alright, just gonna keep on death blowing, cause that's all I know. Alright, and then you missed. And then you missed. That's not the move that I wanted to use. Okay, well. If any of them used magic, that would mean something. But they don't. I see. Okay, well that's actually probably pretty good to know. All magic basically gets treated like... Basically, Celis becomes a gigantic magnet for magic, and that includes ours, too. That is definitely something to take note of whenever I use that. Okay, well, that being said, a monster's taken care of. Huzzah, huzzah. And I say monsters, even though they're they're actually dudes, but, you know, the dudes can be monsters. Oh, oh there's a second wave coming, in fact. That, that's a bit of an issue. I wonder if I can still use the HP bucket up ahead for some quick and easy healing. That would be super duper convenient if and I possibly could. Start things off with a peppering of crossbow bolts, and then with a firm stab in the ribs. There you go. Kayan still got a little bit of worked up aggression to say the bare minimum. You know, kinda, kinda wants to get a lot of revenge. And I don't know if that's really ever gonna stop until the empire itself is just straight up kaput. We'll find out in due time. Anyway, let's make a super fast run over to the HP bucket and see if we can actually use it. I should probably be using a character that can run faster. The answer is yes. Okay, that's good to know. Hello! Oh, Lord Elu, they've got more dudes. Okay, well. Mild issue that, mild issue that, but we'll we'll find a way to make it work. It's all good. Just gonna have to endure a couple casual stabbings. Not like we can't stab them back after all. Hee hee hoo hoo. And I really like this crossbow. Metal knuckles? Nay. Try again another day. Except you won't, because you're about to get ultra shanked. Hey, I say ultra shank. Or I, I guess you could do that first. 
I really don't think something that looks like that should be able to move as fast as it somehow is able to. You're not dead. Why are you not dead? I, 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 I stabbed you really, really strong. Bruh. Bruh. How dare a thing? You're really gonna play it like that? Okay, fine. Aha! Okay, there we go. Locked. Now you're dead. Sheesh. Gotta be very uncourteous to say the bare minimum. Alright, uh... I don't have a lot of time to really formulate strategies. So how about we just go in absolutely guns blazing. Everyone seems to be at full health. That seems a little weird. Magitek barrier! Alright then, well, good news for us. That's not going to matter much. Uh, actually, you know what? Become a heavy infantry guy. That sounds like somebody who might not actually use magic. Because that's what I'm going to assume the Magitek armor does. And instead, Meteor Suplex, the giant mech. There you go. Why? Oh, you were casting fire. Uh, oh. 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 Uh. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what just happened, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> but it worked out in our favor. Gao took a big chunk of damage. I'm not going to say that he didn't. But still, that worked out fairly well. Okay. Uh, can I just take a quick look at Terra? Okay, you guys are going to be okay for just the second and a half necessary for them to run over and get healed. There you go. Just hold the line. We'll be back. We'll be like reinforcements. We'll be the cavalry. It'll be good times. No worries. Hup, 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 kicking those little leggies. Whoa! All right, see, now this would qualify as a back attack. And yet you chose for it to not be. That is interesting to me. All right, same strategy as always. Also, I think I just realized that the HP bucket heals everybody. Oh, well, that's convenient. I thought it would have just been the relevant party at hand, not the entire group. Yeah, okay, I like that a lot. Thank you very much. Crossbow to the face. Or I guess crossbow bolt to the face. I guess you could still hit somebody with a whole ass crossbow, but I don't know. Part of me feels like that wouldn't exactly be as effective as just using the dang thing. Ugh, I don't really like this at all. No, no, sir. Uh... <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna cast myself a little bit of a fiery spell. Yes, yes. This is definitely a team that uh, is not the strongest, but they will persevere regardless. Thing is, Locke is pretty good when it comes to utility and everything, but like, he doesn't really have any super powerful moves all his own. Steel is neat and really cool, and, and you know, you get some cool stuff from it and everything, but you don't really, it doesn't help you win fights. It just helps you gain other stuff from fights, you know? Just hoping he can actually gain a little something something later in time. I don't know if that's ever gonna be a thing. I mean, his whole thing is being a treasure hunter, not a thief. But you know what I mean. Oh, almost full of the dead. No, thank you. Okay, whoo. All right, we managed to take care of that. Very good, very good. Uh, Terra, if you could run away. Haha. <laughs> There you go. You stick over there for now, actually. There we go. I could just go over to Terra and she could just heal everybody up whenever we need. No problem. Okay. Back to this. And the piercing fang. Let's friggin' go. I know not who's about to get stabbed in between the eyes with a big sword. Oh, it was the dog. Boss dog. But I knew it was going to be quick and probably painless. I don't really know. I don't think anybody can really tell you whether or not they died painlessly. Because they're dead, and they have a hard time being able to tell people things. Just by nature. Anyway, is that everybody? Oh, there's one more dude. Alright, hello, good sir. I will do battle with you. It looks like I could have avoided you. And it's looking like maybe I probably should have, too. Hmm. Alright, well, this could be all kinds of bad news is what this could definitely possibly be. We'll just do as much damage as we possibly can, and, uh... Okay, looks like the Bio Blaster actually paid off on that one. I'm just gonna keep on using it. Spray you down with some poison, all that good stuff. Ugh, all right. All right, Cayenne not doing the best, that's okay. Gets off another epic stab attack. Enemy is still alive, and now he's not. All right, then. And that didn't count as a boss. I eat. Okay, that should be everybody. 
And assuming that I can't, you know, just reassemble into one big supergroup, my past is behind me. I have nothing to do with the Empire now. I believe you. Uh, what about you? Kefka. What do you hope to gain from all this? I mean, wanton destruction seems to be his entire MO. All right, well then, I feel like the smartest call would be to have Team Celis go after them. Ooh, you know what might also be a good idea, seeing as how Kefka doesn't seem to have any interest in actually walking over? Ah, I didn't notice the fact that the save thingy is gone. All right, so here's hoping that we can just win. I chose the worst possible path. Locked it. All right, let's see what we have, what we can do here. But what the? Okay, he got himself a big old new sprite. The last time we fought him, he, he, he kind of had a, a sprite a lot like what we had. That's interesting. Also, we missed for some godforsaken reason. Okay. Let's instead hit him with the blizzard. All right, that's some decent damage. Hit you with the fire. Uh, that's powerful. Okay, and now we're dealing with this, and Saban is dead. Okay. Well, I have an idea about what to do next. What I'm going to do is use the Phoenix down, bring Saban back to life. There we go. Whatever Cal is about to do. All right, not bad. Now we just need to get inflicted with that. That's not what we wanted. Items. Okay, do I have something that cures that specifically? I have a single panacea. All right. Why? I guess panacea doesn't work in that way. Cool. Poisona. That helps nobody do anything. Okay, are you good? You back to normal? Awesome. Okay, so if we could just high potion Saban ever so briefly, just momentarily, as Gao continues to cast really good stuff. Okay, now you do your thing, and we're gonna have Magic Seal Blade. Wait, no, Magic Seal Blade. That sounds like an idiotic move. Why did I do that? Great, now Gao is just gonna blow himself up. Why is Suplex not working? Oh, never mind. Turns out that that idea was actually a good one. Okay, you know what? Just keep doing it. It is what it is. Fine. Use Raging Fist, because that doesn't seem to miss. For some reason, I can't suplex the goddamn clown. E yeah. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Uh, you just keep on doing that, I guess. Uh, and here's hoping Gao instead decide. Okay, well, he's back to normal. That's good. I mean, I guess she gets her magic back, which is nice. Doesn't help me do that much in the long run, though. Uh, or a cannon, why not? I think we might survive a single turn unless he decides to use a super powerful magic spell, which he more than most likely will now that I brought it up. I would just like to do a little itty bitty bit more damage and actually let the fire uh, do its thing. Yeah! You didn't win! Don't think that you did! And then he ran! We gained nothing from that! Huzzah! Although we, okay, never mind, he dropped a ring. Of all the things for him to drop, a tranquil ring? Damn it all! I'll get you for this! And then he did that. Where's the idol? Is it alright? I don't know. I haven't seen it since the last time I saw it. Oh, well, I'll be damned. And here I thought it was all a distraction and they would have been able to get it. <sighs> Thankfully, it looks like the Eidolon is safe and unharmed. That's good. Indeed. Also, as base from all appearance, seems to be alive beneath its substantial ice casing. Is that even possible? That would make it pretty strong, yeah? Can I wrestle it? No, no, you may not wrestle it. Ooh. You okay, Terra? Terra! What's the matter? Are you all right? Obviously not. Uh oh. And then Locke almost died. Thanks, Alice. I. I. Uh, no. No! It's messing with her brain! Okay, let's not fall off a cliff. Okay, don't like any of this. T Tara and the Eidolon. They're reacting to each other. Yeah, this happened last time, but I guess Tara wouldn't remember that fully. What? What is this? I'm feeling. Huh? 
Huh? Did you say something? Please, t tell me. Who am I? Who? Tara, please, try to remain strong. Doing my best. The Eidolon, it's responding to her. Tara, <laughs> something's wrong. This plan was a terrible mistake. Tara, get away from that thing. And then they did not get away from that thing. Okay, well that's different. Hi, what? Huh. Tara just flew away. Oh, okay. Um, where are we going? I, I am uncertain as to how to respond to this. I also don't exactly know if she knows where she wants to go. She's, uh, going in a lot of circles, actually. Okay. Uh, Locke, thank goodness. Are you awake now? Yeah, define awake. Ah, where's Tara? I don't even know where to begin to answer that question. Well, she turned into a something and flew off. Sh she looked like... She, she looked like an Eidolon. She didn't look like a giant bird encased in ice to me, but okay. Look, are you feeling better? <sighs> something happened to Tara. There must be some connection between her and that idol, and we need to find her. Witnesses said that she went streaking westward across the sky beyond Figaro. Westward, okay. That should be feasible, sure. We have to hurry. I promised Tara that I'd protect her. And I will keep my promise. Lock. Whoa, now. Let's uh, not get ahead of ourselves. The Empire is sure to try again and come back for the idol. Or probably with an even stronger force than last time. Someone needs to protect Banam. We can't forget the rest of the Returners, either. As much as I've seen with my own eyes now be unmistakable, even if Terra was yet a former Imperial soldier, I am all but certain that we must help her. Well, I'm glad that you're on our side. Agreed. In that case, let's split up. Mostly because we can only have four people in a fight at once, and traveling around to six wouldn't work that way. Those who aren't actively searching for Terra should stay here to guard Nars in case the Empire comes back this way again. Figaro Castle can shuttle the others to the Western Providence. Or shuttle them, rather. Meanwhile, it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to track down clues in Collingen or Jidor as to Terra's whereabouts. Well, ain't that the hope? Oh, goody goody gumdrops! I get to leave someone behind. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, uh, so two people. I mean, I guess as many people as I want can be left behind. I can just go with one. Uh, let's not do that, though. Um, okay. I want to bring Salus. That much I'm certain of. She's got healing magic. She's got other magic. She can block out magic. She's just really useful to have all the dang time. And by that exact same metric, I... I'm also pretty fond of Sabin in this regard, because he's really good at single target burst damage. We're gonna work, work, work with that. Locke obviously very super duper wants to help out. 
And I imagine he'd also like to hang around with Celis too, seeing as how he promised to protect her, too. And I suppose Kayan also made a big stand about wanting to join. So that makes sense. And with that, yeah. Edgar and Gal will stay behind, I suppose. That makes enough sense to me. We're counting on you to find Terra. I will not be changing my party members, no, but uh, I appreciate that. Gal will do his best. I am leaving Gal behind because he is a massive wild card that I don't fully comprehend how to properly make work. So, I, if anything, honestly, I feel like that makes him a bit of a boon for the people back here. He's powerful as all heck. I'm just bad at controlling him in any shape, way, or form. Uh, let's see. I should have a decent chunk of money right now. I sure as all heck do. All right. Uh, let's see. Is there any possible way to get down to, say, mayhaps a, you know, place of which I might get new armor? Magic. Nonsense. I refuse to believe in such things. You don't really get much of a choice in it, my dude. Nasa's position in this war is it's a neutral stance. Even so, it looks like we're still not spared from the Empire's wrath. They're kind of massive assholes! Who would have ever guessed, right? No, certainly not I. Alright, let's see here. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? That's actually a really solid thought. Uh, let's see here when it comes to, like, relics and stuff. Right, we lost our, our sprinty shoes. Alright, then, uh, you're a thief, so you could definitely make use of the thing. Sorry, treasure hunter. Uh, also, what's that do? A ring to see the mind prevents berserk and confusion. That's not bad at all, really. Okay, roll well, right here, right now. That sounds okay to me. All right, we've got mithril shields. Pricey, ain't they? All right, uh, well, we could buy two new iron helms. I'm going to equip them immediately so that I do not lose track of all of the various things. Is it you who gets it? It is you! All right. A wizard hat's always nice, yes, yes. A silk robe, no. Iron armor, yes. And we'll go to lock, and we'll go ahead and give you that iron armor. Slight agility loss, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. And uh, I think I can afford four mithril shields. Which is a bit stupid of me, because only three of them are going to use them. Unfortunate. Actually, wait. You currently don't have the item that, uh, yeah, you don't, you're not wearing the gauntlet. Who's wearing the gauntlet? I guess probably either Edgar or Gal? How did that happen? All right, well, it is what it is, and I guess it doesn't hurt anything? Yeah, all right, then there you go. Until I can get that back. I suppose there's nothing stopping me from just going over to Edgar right now and getting it, but eh, we'll be fine. I'm sure this will be fine. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Anyway, I didn't pay any attention to how much money I have left. Uh, still a fair bit. All right, we can definitely head over to a weapon shop too. To the weapon shop we go. Shaba da ba do. Whoa, it's actually nice to be able to walk around this place without being assaulted for once. What a concept, am I right? Bucket! All right, no, the bucket did not provide me with anything. All right, the great sword, no. Mithril, no, no. Yep. Really? That's a little strange. A chain flail? A full moon blade, whoa, uh, okay. If you use a flail, can you still use your, like, uh, spell sword thing? I think you can, maybe. I do not know. Either way, these are definitely super valuable. All right, no more great sword, and instead, chain flail. And you will have a full moon blade, which is gonna Lower a few things, ain't it? All right, well, it be what it be. Weird, could have sworn I already had an air blade. <laughs> Regardless, that looks to be pretty solid. Only thing left for me to ponder would be to go over to a relic shop. Hello, hello, do you have anything of substantially awesome quality? What's a mithril glove? Defense plus six. In addition to anything else, or, or, or what? Prevents petrification, poison and darkness, and magic plus two. Well, those are, those all sound really good, but I'm also hesitant. Mm. Ain't that just a thing? All right, anything else going around here? Hang on. Yeah, oh, I saw me some moogles playing with one of them big old yetis the other day. Of course, no one believes me. Yeah, because you're a drunk. Disgusting. Actually, it would probably pay off to at least wander about and talk to everybody that we could possibly talk to. Like, yo, you got anything to say? 
I'm still unsure about which action to take, if I'm being honest. I want to risk drawing Narsh into the war, but... Interesting. All right. Uh... Can't really sit around and do absolutely nothing. That much is pretty fairly obvious. As tempting as it is to not want to get involved in a war, uh, sometimes you don't really get anything resembling much of a choice. Real unfortunate fact of the matter, ain't it? Alright, that being s s s s said Well, uh, anything else? I don't want to lose out on anything obvious. Like... Maybe, hang on, let me talk to those dudes. Gal, please get... get Gal, that is the opposite of out of the way, that is in the way. Scoot your boot, thank you. Anyway, her terror turned into a streak of light and shot off westward. Perhaps someone at Figaro Castle may have seen where she took off towards, assuming they came out of the sand. Please find Tara. The future of our world rests in her hands. Also for her well-being, that part too, but I guess to a lesser degree. Haha. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Aha! Yo, you got any side quests or something? Oh wait, no. This is just Why do you have two entrances? What kind of sense does that make? That's a bunch of nonsense is what that is. And you, talk to me! Talk to me! Uh, Figaro Castle can burrow through the sand all the way west to Collingen? Amazing. Will wonders never cease? I suppose they probably won't. Talk to me. The heat of our steam engine powers the city and keeps it warm too. Andy, we follow along with the Elder's will. We have no free will of our own, as you might imagine. It's easier just to listen and follow orders than to free think. I saw a streak of light shoot off towards Figaro Castle. It almost looked like a person. Mostly because it was shaped like a woman. All the treasure I've collected over the years are kept in the building over there on the far right. I would rather you have them than the Empire. However, one was one has locked tight even when I found it. It's a real shame. Something exceptional must be inside of it. All right, well, that sounds like a free pass to gain goodies, and I want goodies. And that is why we didn't immediately make a beeline out of this town. All right, so I can't open one of these things. That's a bummer. 5,000 gill, an earring, a thief's knife. It's locked. Reflect ring, thief's bracer, hyper wrist. Dang, 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 da, dang, dang, sa. All right, can you wear two hyper wrists? I don't think you can, so we're probably not gonna go with that. But what's with all this thief gear I'm noticing? Hang on a second here. A thief's bracer, agility plus five. And we definitely got something else thief related. Yeah, the thief's knife. Which is marginally not as good as the full moon blade, but agility of... Uh, I feel like in going all in on evasion and speed makes the most sense for luck. Kind of a bummer that I bought something that I'm not even going to use, especially because it sounds so damn cool. And regardless. Also, you know what? Let's have you yeah, wear the Thief's Bracer. Just get faster. Full speed ahead and all that. That chest in the back corner is the only one that's locked. What is there any possible way to open it? I don't know, a gun? Buckets? I'll just quickly check all of the various crannies. Every suspicious nook and cranny. Seems like there's nothing obviously in here that will allow me to. Maybe there's some sort of all-purpose key we can gain at some point. That might sound crazy, but that is in fact actually a thing in Dragon Quest games. And it's, well, it's the same publisher anyway. So, I mean, it's not impossible. It's just fairly unlikely. I believe we are okay to leave now. I believe. I do, in fact, actually not know. Alright, so we're heading back over to Figaro Castle. So we shall, so we shall. Do, do, do. Oh god, we're being under attack by lettuce bunnies! Oh, the humanity! Alright, well, uh... Magic Seal Blade does not work when she is not wielding a blade. I was worried about that. Okay, well. Hmm. Maybe if I feel like we're about to go up against a boss, perhaps? But then again, hmm, that just makes it hard for me to cast spells now, doesn't it? What an odd Catch-22 double-edged sword type situation to find ourselves in. Interesting. Oh, you're not gonna... You're not gonna call us off at this time? All right. This is Figaro, the Desert Castle. Yes, I have been here before. And in fact, yeah, one of the, yeah, it's Sabin. He can, he's basically an acting king. He's related to the brother and the brother ain't here. 
That makes sense. Ah, this is great. This is like old times. Man, I'm going to wander around the place for a bit. Although, if you want to take a short rest up in the guest rooms for a bit, we can catch up on some things before we head out, all right? Okay. Is it is it possible to just just have a have a chit chat with the Saban? That a, that a thing we can do? Are you somewhere obvious, Mister? We've broken off our alliance with the Empire. Oh, have you now? Who would have ever assumed? Who would have ever guessed? I suppose he said that if I took a break in the guest room, we would catch up on stuff before we head out. So I guess that's an idea. So sure. All I have to do is remember where that is. I mean, this is a pretty nifty librarium. Everybody enjoys a good librarium, but, uh, what can I help you, sir? We've had a long, difficult journey. You must be tired. Why don't you rest for a while? Yeah, that was the plan. Move. Move. Okay. Cool. Glad we had that talk. Uh, so now what the heck in heck? I remember two different places you can now. There you go. Yeah, rest for a bit. There you go. Break off and take yourself a snooze. That's what you gotta do. There we go. Naps were had. Unless you want to tell me that that wasn't the guest room and you want me to actually use the side building. Oh my dear God, that is actually what you want. Okay, that's not weird. Except I lied to you all. It is massively weird. It's incredibly strange. I do not understand why this is a thing. Fair enough. I'll go out of my way if I mu simply must. And cool, cool, cool. Not what I wanted at all. I wanted to escape. Where's the damn side door in this place? And you still won't let me in. Sorry, but I can't let you go down there. It's just too dangerous. I'm beginning to think they didn't even code a, mo a room down there. I think I've been lied to. Okay. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Hey, wait for me. I'm going through. No, 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 no. A thousand times no. 1,232% no. Okay, cool. <sighs> awesome. I don't know how the hell to get to the side rooms. Mind letting me out of this godforsaken place? Hello? How do I get back down to the lower areas? I'm not about to lose out on potential story stuff. That guy's just... This feels like the way to the thing, but I can't go to the thing because there's a dude in the freaking way. What the hell, man? Failing all of that? Somebody want to maybe just possibly conceivably explain to me how the freaking hell I can at least find Saban? The game is tantalizingly tossing the possibility of story stuff at me. Optional story stuff, no less. And you're just going to throw it away like I can't have it? Can I go this way? Does this way lead me to the promised lands? Is that a possibility or is it just gonna lead me to the tip top tippity top of this awful place? Yeah, woo, cool, I'm up here now. Like that actually means something, it doesn't. That room is pointless, it's a waste of code. Can I go through here, is there a down? No, there is not. How do I? Okay, this is frustrating. Seems like there are just people in the way of the things. Yeah, I'd very much like to rest for a while. Could you bug off, please? I'm not gonna let this go, no. The game makes it really, the game makes it seem like there's something I could do here. I already did that and it didn't work. I don't wanna miss stuff. Who would've thought we'd see the day when a thing like that flew over a mountain range? Unbelievable, isn't it? Okay. And in fact, yeah, no, we need the, we, we, okay, no, I'm absolutely right. I'm just bad at this for whatever reason, because, because we're supposed to use the burrowing function of this thingamadoo in order to get further along. So we can't leave. That's a thing. Okay. All right. Noted, noted, noted. I'm just doing something incorrectly. I just need to figure out what. Can, could you please move out of the way? Oh, what? Lots of orders to submerge this month that can take you to the desert beyond the mountains if you'd like. I'm supposed to just talk to you about this, but... But Sabin! I'll be right back. Okay, I was not... I was not asking. I'll be right back. Just... 
If there's a chance I'm missing something, it'll absolutely destroy me, okay? Okay, so, I formulated a theory. I cannot, for the life of me, find myself able to get to a different bed. So, that clearly is not what I'm supposed to do. So, assuming that there is, in fact, some kind of story-based event that I could miss, what could I possibly be missing? And then it hit me like a ton of bricks. I bet you I needed Edgar. So let's go ahead. I, uh, I, I had sent Cayenne back, and now I've got Edgar. We're gonna rest. And with that... There you freaking go! I was not about to miss something that obvious. This is probably gonna be sad. Hmm. Castle hasn't changed much. Yet it's still so different. I'm a data con. None can ever really be the same. Not after what happened. Tonight, worst he's been, so if he should. No, you're wrong, it's not true. Priestess, the king, he's... Sabin. Sabin! Dad couldn't have... So, Dad didn't make it then. Edgar, there you are. Your father just said he would entrust Figado to the two of you. Those were his final words. Come on, what, what's all this? You all make me sick. Everyone's saying that the Empire had dead poisoned. And yet the only thing any of you lot can even think about is who will be the next king? Yet I haven't seen one person grieving. None of you probably cared when Mom died after we were born either. See, that, that's not... It is true! And you! You're just as bad as the rest of them! Say, but please... Damn! Those murderous Imperial bastards! They will get away with this. They can't! Us. Please leave us. Dad, good, let's go. Let's leave this country. Let's forget this country that's always fighting over something or another. We'll live our lives freely somewhere, however we want to. You said you didn't want to be a king, right? A life of freedom, huh? Saban. What do you think would happen to Figaro if both of us left? There'd be literally no one to take the throne. Dad was counting on us. Counting on us to take care of the kingdom. Ah, Saban. Okay. Well, let's settle this with a toss of a coin. In fact, we'll settle it with the very coin that Father gave us. If it's heads, you win. And if it's tails... I win. The winner gets to choose whatever path in life that he wants. No regrets. No hard feelings. Okay? Here it goes. Hell of a throwing arm, Edgar! And when all was said and done, you chose your freedom. My goodness. It's hard to believe. It's already been ten years. And that little shrimp has grown into a whopping lobster. <laughs> and you're the king crab. Sabin. Do... Do you think that... Dad would be proud of me? Edgar. Of course he would. Don't you ever doubt that? 
I'm sure he's beaming with pride wherever he is. Ten years. Ten long years. Yeah. Where's the time gone? Here's to a couple of confused grown-ups. Drink. Here's to Dad. To Ma. And to Figaro. That was more than worth the walk back over. Okay. I am very glad that I didn't miss that. Huh. <sighs> All right, I feel significantly more comfortable with us moving forward now. That being said, do I want to go back and get Cayenne, or am I just... <sighs> okay, well, here's hoping Cayenne can get another chance to shine. I like that guy a lot, and I do want to keep involving him in things. I don't know, something about splitting up the brothers again. I don't know, just doesn't sit too well with me, I suppose. We'll stick with what we've got for now. Quite frankly, if I was being in entirely, like, logistically intelligent, I would actually trade off Locke right now because he's just not the most combat applicable for me in the way I play. But, I mean, I feel like he's got way too many good quality story reasons to be here to not bring. So, there you go. Anyway, I guess we'll go to Colin again. Hurrah! Apparently the switch was a little sticky. To new lands and what have ye! Okay, so the castle can move incredibly fast. I'm gonna be honest with you, did not anticipate being able to move that quickly. God damn, that's impressive technology. And you don't use magic for that? Here we are, calling again. Have a safe trip. God damn, alright then! <laughs> Worked out pretty well for me, I dare say. Did I talk to the high priestess? Is that was that even an option to me? Uh, humor me for just a moment and a half. Is it this room? It doesn't look like the room that normally has them is allowed to be gotten into. Oh wait, no, hang on. People have decided to move the hell out of the way. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. They finally got the stupid faces out of the way. Hi, priestess. Oh, Sabin. You sure have grown up, haven't you? I still remember from back then, you know. My word, was I ever furious with you. Yes, I think I learned an important life lesson that day. Well, hopefully everyone involved did. King Edgar, how long do you expect me to keep waiting for you to propose? Sheesh. Well, if I had to guess, and I, I don't, so I'm not going to, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's fairly obvious. All right, I just want to check over all of the various places real quick. It's not a crime to want to cover all my bases. Anyway, there's the other bed. I didn't think that was going to be the way, but I couldn't think of any other way, you know? Anyway, the advanced weapons and other items we manufacture here are shipped to South Figaro. I believe you told me that already. All right, then. Seems uh, a Tomiya, as if I've done all that needs or can be done. So I guess we're just heading over to a new town, see what happens, I guess.